and thanks for joining us from our studios in Israel. I'm Natasha Kirchuk here with ILTV's Morning Briefing. The coalition crisis between Prime Minister Netanyahu and Minister Naftali Bennett has been resolved, and now Avigdor Lieberman has been approved to become the Minister of Defense. Netanyahu and Bennett reached a compromise on Bennett's demand for an overhaul of the security cabinet, where ministers will be provided with real-time security updates and be given easier access to classified information. The compromise was put forward by Health Minister Yaakov Litzman. With the Yisrael Beitenu party entering the government, the Netanyahu-led coalition will now grow from 61 to 66 seats in the 120-seat Knesset. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has issued a statement firmly denying that his wife Sarah is guilty of any wrongdoing. The statement was released after police recommended that Mrs. Netanyahu be tried on three separate cases of suspected graft. Mrs. Netanyahu denies the allegations. The Prime Minister's office says that all the fraud allegations will be proven baseless and has asserted that the police statement did not include any recommendations to put Mrs. Netanyahu on trial. The comments from the Prime Minister's office contradict a police statement, saying that an investigation into Sarah Netanyahu has been passed to the state prosecutor, with a recommendation that she be charged. Police claim they have amassed sufficient evidence to put Mrs. Netanyahu on trial for appropriating state money for private use, receiving goods under false pretenses, falsifying documents, and breach of trust. The partners in Israel's Leviathan gas field have just signed a major contract to supply gas to the Israeli IPM power plant just days after the Israeli cabinet approved the revised framework accord for the natural gas industry. IPM has agreed to buy 13 billion cubic meters of natural gas for $3 billion over the next 18 years, and their new plant is slated to be built in the Be'er Tuvia industrial zone. The deal is a Leviathan partner's second one with a domestic electricity producer, as Israel sets off on a path to become self-sufficient and make gas more affordable in the Holy Land. In a move to counter the BDS movement against Israel, Italian officials are sending a delegation of Italian researchers and academics to Israel this week. A series of 10 conferences will be held across Israel between Tuesday and Friday and dozens of Italian and Israeli researchers will come together to share their latest discoveries in fields ranging from plastic surgery to robotics. The Italian ambassador to Israel says the visit comes in an effort to stand up against a campaign to boycott Israeli universities. While the BDS movement has been less successful in Italy, earlier this year around 300 Italian academics signed a petition, calling on Italian universities to cut ties with Israeli institutions. Rome has frequently voiced its opposition to the BDS campaign. And last year, Italian Prime Minister Matteo Renzi said that whoever boycotts Israel is boycotting him. That's all for now. I'm Natasha Kirchuk, and see you later with our main daily broadcast from Israel at 2 p.m. Eastern Time.